Get the little ones, sit back, relax, and listen to the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audiences. Chapter 17 Andy Parker awoke with a start in a place he couldn't remember seeing before and hoped to never see again. It looked like some kind of warehouse, but it had definitely seen better days. The morning sun streamed in through the great gaps between the slats and the walls, forming brilliant shafts of light in the thick layer of dust that hung in the air. It gave an oddly grand feeling to a building that was little more than a shack filled with crates. It took Parker a moment to realize that he had been paying so much attention to the light, he had failed to notice the man in the shadows. "'Good morning,' said Gregor Samson condescendingly. Parker reached hastily for his thirty-eight and found it gone. "'Looking for this?' Samson asked casually, holding Parker's weapon aloft by the barrel. "'Sorry to help myself, but you were awful handy with it last night.' Parker blinked his eyes hard as the aftermath of the Inferno of the Golden Goose came flooding back to him, of the men who had hunted them as they ran, of being led on a route so circuitous through alleys, back streets, and sewer tunnels that Parker never knew where he was or where he was going. He remembered that he and the man in the shadows had finally made a stand. They had hit at least three of their pursuers before the rest disappeared, and then they had run further and deeper into the night before going to ground. It couldn't have ended more than a few hours ago. Parker's eyes adjusted to the shadows his new friend was in. Samson's forty-five was drawn, but not pointed directly at Parker or held particularly aggressively. The man was taking no chances, but Parker did not feel himself in danger. "'I thought we'd have a little chat, you and I,' Samson began. "'On what subject?' Parker was cool. "'On the subject of free advice, my young friend, but let's start with your name.' Samson's gaze was firm. "'Peter. Peter Colt.' Parker lied. "'And here we begin the free advice, Constable Andy Parker,' Samson said smugly. "'Never give a false name to someone who's had the time to search your pockets. "'And never carry identification when you're working undercover, "'especially if it says that you're a cop. "'And while we're on the subject, if you're working undercover, "'try to learn something about whatever you're posing as. "'That was some of the worst waitering I've seen in my entire life. "'Every hood in the place had you pegged ten minutes before they moved on you.' The room exploding actually increased your odds of survival. Samson watched the young policeman intently for any sign of anger or anything that might betray him. He was impressed to see nothing of the kind. Well, thanks for that, stranger. It's true, I didn't get up early to rifle through your pockets and the early bird gets the worm, I suppose. Of course, since I heard her call you both Samson and Gregor, and it really doesn't work the other way around, I'm going to call you Gregor Samson and be glad for the extra few minutes of sleep. I also got your gun, Samson pointed out with a small smile. Ah, Parker had to concede the point. There is that. How do you know her? Her who, said Samson, never taking his eyes off Parker. Don't be cute, Parker snapped. The flying squirrel knew your name. She asked you to help her with the boss. You're in the Red Panda's gang, aren't you? Samson snorted audibly. Gang. It's not exactly a gang. Then what exactly is it? Parker jumped right in. When Samson did not reply immediately, he added, You're probably wishing you said, I don't know what you mean right about now, aren't you? Probably, Samson smiled, but I still have both guns, so I don't really care. Parker tensed. I thought it wasn't a gang. Well, Samson said casually, There are gangs and there are gangs. Let's talk about you, Parker. What makes a fresh-faced police constable with zero undercover experience and no backup blunder into an incredibly dangerous situation like that? You can't possibly be working on this case. There are cases and there are cases, Parker smiled. Oh, so it's like that, is it? What is it, Junior, bucking for promotion? Figured the Golden Goose was too obvious a target for the Red Panda to pass up? It was, wasn't it? Sure, kid, but don't get too full of yourself. Sometimes he walks into traps just to see what they look like from the inside. Interesting. Why don't we talk about you, Samson? You plainly work for the Red Panda. Come down to headquarters and come clean. Tell us who he is and what he wants. What he wants? Doesn't he make it pretty obvious? The same thing as you. I don't hide behind a mask, Samson. You don't do as good a job as he does either, Samson snorted. Maybe not. Of course, I don't have a staff like his. You're pretty house-proud of your undercover skills, aren't you? 
You also answer the description of a con man named Grant. What are you, his spy inside the rackets? So you don't think he's involved in the rackets, then? I've got a job to do, Samson, Parker said through gritted teeth. Me too, Samson said casually and tossed Parker his thirty-eight. I've got to make a phone call. Sit tight. Sit tight, Parker was incredulous. Why should I? Because, Samson was walking away, your leg is handcuffed to the floor. Parker looked down and groaned. It was true. He raised the revolver. Samson, he called, get back here. Gregor Samson did not look back. Kid, he said, I left one bullet in that gun in case our playmates from last night are still around or some rats find you when I'm out. Now you can waste it shooting me in the back, but since I'm all the way over here, explain to me how that gets you out of those cuffs. And with that, he was gone. Classical and brand new audio dramas through the Mutual Audio Network. Subscribe through Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, or iHeartRadio today. There's eight different podcasts, one for each day of the week and genre. And the Mutual Audio Network broadcast feed so you don't miss a day of your favorite shows. Subscribe to Mutual Audio tonight. Good night.